Why? Why do you have to be so tall? <laughs> <laughs> It's a struggle. I just have back. a long torso because like we're almost the same height. Hey. hey! I'm Christopher J. M. U. A. and this is Caitlin. She is my stepdaughter. Kind of. Not really. She is my boyfriend Mark's daughter. So if we ever got married, she would be my stepdaughter. But we don't call it that because that's just weird. And we don't have that kind of relationship. So we just keep it as friends, I guess. Sure. Dad's boyfriend, I mean. Yeah, that works. Today we are going to be getting ready, chit-chatting, hanging out. It's actually Christmas Eve tonight. I don't know when I'm going to have this video uploaded for sure, but for Christmas, Mark got me a ring light. First, if you don't know who Mark is, go ahead and click this card that pops up and you can see a video with him in it and get to know him a little bit better. You go ahead and do that and we'll wait for you to come back. Go ahead. Okay, welcome back. Now that you're back, it's Christmas Eve right now, and we did Christmas opening presents and everything on Christmas Eve, and one of the gifts I got was a ring light, like I said, and I really, really wanted to test out the ring light, so we decided to film, and she got some new makeup to play with, so she also was excited to film. So I'm gonna be using some of the products from my last video, my Holiday Ulta haul, and she's gonna be using the stuff she got. We'll kind of show you along the way just what we're using, but it's really just going to be kind of a chill get ready with us, and we wanted to bring you guys along. So enjoy the video. The first thing we're going to use that she got is Tatcha Silk Canvas. She's bougie. Yeah, we're the real goobies now. <laughs> James Charles, we're coming for you. It's your present, so you get first dip into it. This stresses me out. Though. I don't know that I want to screw this up. Like. <laughs> pretty it is. That's what Mark and I came together to get her for Christmas. So how you use Tatcha Silk Canvas is whenever you get it, it has like this little coin thing and you use the coin to scrape the product out and there's a line in it, right? There, you see the line. So whenever you scrape it, you scrape to that line and once you have the amount of product that it takes to get to that line, that's when you stop and that's how you know you have enough. I saw this on a YouTube video once. We damaged it. It's no longer super pretty. <laughs> I forgot who told me about it that. It smells so good. Does it? It smells like kind of lemony. Citrusy. Mm, I don't know my wow. fruits. That does smell really nice. citrusy. Now my hands oh my God. are like, I can't screw this back on. What does one do with it so they don't lose it? I'll put it back in the box. Does it? Oh, gosh. You would figure there would be some kind of like magnetic yeah. sticky something on it. But there's one. Yeah, or like you could put it back in the container. Yeah. Nope, that's not a thing, because they're rich and they don't care if they lose one. <laughs> because they never carry a makeup bag. They have their, their makeup bag Tatcha and they have their beauty table They just have tacha. their artist to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, it's not their problem. Their makeup artist has to deal with it. I'm curious to see how pore filling this is because I'm a different kind of primer guy. I gotta have pore filling. I don't actually know how to do makeup, so I'm probably gonna screw this whole thing up. Happy Holidays! Happy Kwanzaa! Um, what's the other one? Hanukkah! Merry Christmas? Yes. Happy New Year's? Um, and we both have clean faces. We washed our face before we went to put makeup on. Yeah! <laughs> the hell I did that? Well, I do. I mean, I washed my face this morning. Didn't put makeup on since then. Like, it looks like I have a floating palette, but it's on my knee. Ooh, it's boo bra! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Taylor. It's oh, okay, then, sorry. Caitlin. This seems kind of pore filling. I like that. Kind of? Yeah, kind of. It's not like... Is it $52 worth of pore filling? No. There is... I would reach for pore fashion. I'd reach for this one. This one's nice, but... I have young skin still, kind of. Oh! I'm not saying I don't like this one, but it's not nearly as pore filling as pore fashion. Concealer. Concealer. Okay, Laura Lee. Should I use my naked Urban Decay? Use your naked should, concealer. Should I use my Shape Tape? I use this on the everyday because it's not as like... I use the Shape Tape when like, I kind of want to look You're good. You're using concealer before foundation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm not a makeup artist. I mean, I just didn't know what you were doing. I always do. You know people do that? Like... Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to because I'm using judging? powder foundation. Should I use it? Should I do it after? No, you can do whatever you want. As You're long as what I know, I just didn't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know what you were doing. I feel like I should do it 
now. I thought you were doing your eyeshadow first. I thought you were going to be using your concealer as your eyeshadow base, and that's what I thought you were going to start on. Okay, so we didn't know how long it wasn't recording just then, but we were talking about how she got her Born This Way foundation that was in shade Cloud, which was too light, as you can see, and how I got my concealer, which I think is too dark. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because I'm using a powder foundation, so I'm doing concealer first and I'm gonna have to build on top of it. But what I just realized is this is a pump concealer and I don't That's know how I'm gonna put it on. Put it on the back of your hand and use a sponge. I don't have a wet sponge with me. Well then go wet a sponge. Do you wanna use mine? No, okay. I'm gonna go wet one. But I just looked at my beard and I really need to color correct. So I'm color correcting before I do anything else. It looks so white, like. For now, but you're gonna build on it. But it matches my neck. Oh my God, it does. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. This summer I was in shade soft beige and now I'm in shade cloud. I feel like I'm always like in that neutral beige, natural, that general area of shade. I'm white as a ghost. So Caitlin, when did you first discover that you liked makeup? I wore, I started wearing makeup to school when I was in the... Your face! <laughs> Your face! <laughs> My light isn't helping. You guys have to remember, this is the first time with this ring light, so we're kind of trying to figure it out still. And it's a very blue-white light. In person, I do not look that pale, though. I don't think. Do I? Do I look Here, that pale? I'm going to insert this picture that I'm about to take of her in the video so you can see what it looks like in real person with flash and without flash. Because she doesn't look... red eye. She doesn't look that white at all. That's not a good picture, but it's okay. They're seeing me like this, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're seeing the real tea anyway, because I don't have the fancy stuff like the real gurus do, where they edit their face all the time and put that filter on. You're getting the real non-filtered me, I mean, but don't get me lying. If I can afford that video editor and that filter, I'm probably gonna get it. Everyone gets the real unfiltered me anyway, because I never want to wake up to do my makeup, so. <laughs> The moment you wake up. Now, now I'm on to do I use shape tape or do I do naked skin? Concealer, mm. guys. <laughs> yeah, not naked skin around me, please. No, but um, okay. I think you should go for extra coverage. You should do that. Okay, is my beard blended away? I can't see myself. <laughs> Am I beautiful? No, you look like you just like like stuck your face in clay and started eating. Yes. So I'm beautiful. Tis the season to be jolly. Oh my god, what if Santa comes while we're filming? Because will he bring us more makeup? <gasps> will he join our will he join our get ready with me? That would be because fun. I would live for that. No, he could bring me a mic. And he could bring me two soft boxes. Everyone's gonna watch this and be like, this girl doesn't know what she's doing with our makeup. And you know what? I don't think they care. Because the point is to hang out with us while we put on makeup. That's the point of the get ready with me. But we need to create interesting things to talk about in some way. What's the definition of good? My name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was going for the sophomore card. You just went straight fine. <laughs> the definition of good? Mm -hmm. Like your good is going to be different than my good. And so when someone tells you to be good, what do they mean? But whatever makes you happy and you think is good, then that is what's good. But like someone else's good's gonna be different than yours. Right. So and that's also, why... and that's like with every single word you think about. Like with think of the laws we follow. When it says like vague words like timely or things like that, what is timely? Because your timely is gonna be different than my timely. Right. Like my hour could be really fast. Well, to me. but also like if someone says like they have to give notice, does that mean like if I'm giving you notice of your court date of like a date and time, or does that mean like I give you notice of just I tell you you're gonna have a court date? I don't know. We want talked about this. No, we time. talked about this in AP Gov because there was a court case that like this actually happened and like this immigrant oh. was gonna get deported. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's just a certain standard for those types of things that should be understood already based on parents teaching children the right things because they are the right things. We about to go in with this shade that's way too dark for me and a shade that's way too light for me. A shade that's what? Way too dark for me. Have you seen my face? Have Does you it seen matter? This, col <laughs> this color is C14. That is really dark. I'm like a C2. That's dark. Yeah. Just blend it enough so that it makes your whole face darker and then it'll just seem like your oh foundation was the right shade. I need to go with a beauty sponge, so I'll be right back. Can you hold down the fork for me? Um, I mean, I can. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. You only have more than you only have more than I'm I'm more than <laughs> <laughs> seconds. Just do your makeup still. Okay. I won't be gone that long. All I'm doing my makeup. Oof. That's not a good look. It's going great guys. Definitely a beauty guru right here. And the hairline and everything. Okay, I'm back. And you know what? I've realized that the, this elf sponge, this one wasn't so bad. These came together in a two pack. Mm -hmm. This is so dense. Feel this. It's wet. Like, I damped it. Oh my goodness. It's like, you can't, it's... You, I know. Mm. It has no porosity. That's I'm an AP lit and still don't know vocabulary words, so... I'm gonna try this concealer now on this super dense sponge in this pump. I'm using concealer. Not for what concealer is supposed to be used for. I'm using a pump. A pump for concealer. Wild. Under my eyes. Look at my nose. Look at my face. I'm orange and green. I'm white and brown. Yay. We're celebrating diversity. <laughs> what? Look how dark my nose is. I don't know if this translates on camera, but in comparison to the rest It does of translate on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that should be your foundation shade. No, it is. You're taking off your foundation. <laughs> Wait, I saw Laura Lee do this. Oh, that looks weird. Really, really <laughs> weird. Okay. Now I'm gonna try the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NC20. I'm gonna use my Kabuki brush though. Kabuki's a funny word. It kinda is. Where did it come from? The Kabuki place. What's the origin? Is it like someone's last name? Does it mean something in a different language? Like I don't know. Do you guys know what? Kabuki really like, means or comes I from? I just halfway did my eyebrows and I'm gonna Google it. Kabuki. Traditional Japanese drama with highly stylized song, mime, and dance, now performed by only by male actors using exaggerated gestures and body movements to express emotion and including historical plays, domestic dramas, and dance pieces. This brush is not working very well for this, or I should not have put color corrector down before a powder foundation. I mean, all of the above? I'm using Anastasia that I've used so much it doesn't have a name anymore. Clear brow gel. Oh, I thought it was mascara. Do you have setting powder? Yes. I'm out of my little Mosier. You can borrow it. Yes, I have pure translucent setting powder. Is it good? Good, good? It's okay. Is it the good, good? I've never used like Laura, so I don't really know what there to compare that to. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. You close it, turn what? it over, and tap the bottom until you get the desired amount of product. How much product do I need? I always do like 20 taps. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how to bake. Something smells good on this. Is it this? Uh huh. It smells like it is tart. This. It's probably a mixture of tart on this and that. No, it's that. No, but like I've also used tart on my. Oh, my I gotcha. Go ahead and blend this in the crease. Soften the edges like this once I got majority of the color. Okay, I don't care. Going in with shade tickle because I am Laura Lee now. Mm hmm. Who will I be? I will be. I don't know. I'll be Jeffrey, but we wouldn't be here together, I don't feel like, anymore. Are they not like friends anymore? Um, no. Because she never apologized to me. You could be like Manny and UA. Are they still like friends? Mmm. I don't know for sure. Because Jeffrey agreed with Gabriel. And Gabriel apologized, and Manny kind of apologized. Mm -hmm. This foundation is so bad on me right now. I should not have put any color corrector down first. Because I've used this foundation before on top of like my bare skin mm -hmm. with nothing else underneath. And I really, really liked its coverage. It was very nice and airbrushed looking, but it is not looking that way now. It's just not building up the right way. That's the problem. I can't believe you're on eyeshadow already. She made this real dark. I'm just gonna go in one more time. Let's see if I can be a beauty guru. In shade. <laughs> you you <laughs> lost. <laughs> Tickle. Oh wait, they do the this thing too. What do they do? They it, cover up the mirror. Uh oh. In shade tickle. I never even realized they cover up the mirror. Yeah, so you don't get blinded. Yeah. I'm living for the pink vibes. Oh wow. Yeah. That is really pretty. See, but since I go so fast, then you can use it after me if you want. Because mm -hmm. I go so fast. I am doing a very Christmassy look. Bang Um, no, icy blue. I'm going for, like, Ice Queen vibes. Do you remember that year? It was like when you and Dad first got together, and y'all, we went out into, like, the backwoods. We found a Christmas tree, chopped it down, and then y'all <gasps> spray painted it blue. Yeah, no, or silver. silver. Yeah, yes, it was one of the colors, because yes. your colors were blue. Oh, that was so beautiful, too. 
I just remember eating popcorn from the movie theater instead of making a garlic bread. Uh-huh. Wow, yeah, that was really fun. Like, I don't know how to do makeup at all. I think you're pretty decent, actually. It's, uh, I'm watching all the beauty gurus. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. And Especially thank you. Especially Christopher J. <laughs> He's taught me all I know. I definitely wasn't doing makeup before he was. Nope. Not at all. I don't even think you had any makeup before me. Before you met me. Kidding. I was like, <laughs> I mean before I met you maybe because well, I yeah, met you when I was like, like 10. Kid, kid, yeah. Okay, so actually she might not have had makeup <laughs> before she met me, but only because she was like a baby. But not really. I was like 10. I know. Whatever. But that's when I was like 21 -ish. We're 10 years apart, in case you missed that. Yeah, we are. She and I are 10 years apart and her father and I are 16 years apart. The other direction. Obviously. Yeah, my dad's not younger than I am. Soften up the edges, but without dispersing more. You know, it's sad you're having to watch another fresh. YouTuber's tutorial <laughs> while I'm sitting from right beside you. But you're not doing the same eye look I am, and you don't have you haven't ever done this palette. True and true. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Build Your Own Palette palette and use my bronzing shade. I forgot its name. You know, this is really interesting because it's been a very long time since I've used a powder foundation. The last one that I used was my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. That was actually my first powder foundation. And that was my first foundation, period. And I really, really like that foundation. Is that your first foundation ever? Huh? Tarte Amazonian Clay is your first foundation ever? Yep. Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation was my first foundation ever. This one, right here. My first foundation was not a foundation. And the shade Light Medium Beige. I used to setting powder as foundation. <laughs> then that's not a foundation. No, it's not. I don't know what my first foundation was. This is such a nice bronzy shade. Sometimes I feel like it's a little too warm, like too red, I mean. But it depends on my mood, I think. I have glitter underneath my eye. That's not the worst place you can have glitter. One, two, three. Well, I took Tickle, the shade Tickle, and I put it all over my, my face. And then I took Spanked and did the same thing, pretty much. And then I took Love Bite and put it in the outer V. And then I um, took the glitters Excite and Infatuated and I put Excite all over my lid. And then I put Infatuated right there in the middle, even though you can't tell the difference. Boom. She's a beauty guru. I was a beauty guru before. I don't need no YouTube channel to tell me I'm a beauty guru. You just sounded like Hank Hill. <laughs> Who's Hank Hill? <gasps> oh my god. What? What year were you born? 2001. You should know who Hank Hill is. You do like, know who Hank Hill is. Hank Hill, Peggy Hill, Bobby Hill. King of the Hill! Duh! King oh of no, the Hill. I never watched King of the Hill. It always came on like after The Simpsons. Like Adult Swim, yeah, I never watched no. it. No. Adult Swim was like after it actually aired on like regular TV. I don't know. I'm showing my age is really what's happening right now. I'm gonna go into my NYX Pro Palette into the shades Caramel and Sculpt and just mix both of those as my contour. I do not think they're even. They're not even. No, they're not. But all it takes is making that one straight. Since that one's skinnier, just wear that one curves, make that a straighter line. Guys, I haven't done makeup in like, I don't know, like four or five days. And I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. According to some people that leave comments on my videos, I don't have any idea what I'm doing, and I am a... P-E-A-C-E -E of stale white bread. Yes, I'm a piece of stale white bread. And I'm also a bullfrog? Was that it? <laughs> it was definitely a bullfrog. Is that better? Did I get it close enough? Yes. So I had a girl leave me a comment, or boy, I don't know what they were, and they called me a bullfrog. Don't assume their gender. Chris. I didn't, I didn't, and also, they were just mean. On Christmas Eve, you don't have to be mean. Like, why be mean? There's no reason to be mean. Just be nice. But she was mean. It was mean. He was mean. Whoever it was, was mean. And I just, you know, whenever people are mean like that, never forget that people go through some stuff. Like, everybody has their own little world going on. And if somebody is like that to you, they could have a lot going on. Like, a lot of really bad stuff going on that they're just taking out on you. And try to just kind of shove it aside, you know? On another note, look at this when I close my eyes. <laughs> That's so pretty. No, but look at that liner when I close my eyes. What about it? This one goes like boop, and this one goes like boop. No, it's actually not terrible. Okay, Here, let me fix this. Quit with your excessive blinking. <laughs> I'm not. Your, eye, your close eye blinking. <laughs> You're like. Here you go. You fix it? Mm hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. How are you so fast? I don't know. 
Because I just don't care how good it looks or how clean it looks. Oh, well, I mean, that makes sense, I guess. I do. Because, like, if someone were to actually critique this, they would probably be like, oh, girl, no. But, like, <laughs> not my problem. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to YouTubeville. It's literally 11.10 on Christmas Eve. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god, 40 more minutes and we're gonna meet Santa Claus. 50 more minutes, bud. 50 more minutes and we're gonna meet Santa Claus. I'm so excited. I wonder if we can meet his elf. Which one? He's got locks. Mmm, Roger. I really liked Roger last year. You know, I heard though if you like see Santa Claus at your house, he doesn't come the next year. It's a myth. Really? Yep. So you've seen him and he still comes and visits? Twice. That's but it's once you get past a certain age. I think it was like 22 is how old you have to be. Um, before he'll come back if you see him. Like if you see him and you're under the age of 22, he won't come back. Oh, that explains why. I mean, I haven't ever seen him, but I'm also only 17, so. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay. I just heard that like, oh, I already got this palette dirty. I'm not surprised. Thanks. <laughs> Guess what? I cleaned it. Now I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. In the shade 3.3, not 3.3, 3, just 3, 3, and only 3. So Princess Cut and Chisel are the two best shades for me. Princess Cut is the- There's um, not a chisel, there's carrot and oh, brown. Oh, angle, sorry. That's like the subtle, um, like more of a bronzy chisel, and that's like the contour. Heck, I'm going contour. Okay. On you with that light foundation, that might be your contour. <laughs> just so y'all can see, he said it was, um, this one. Yeah, I told her this one was my regular shade, more like the bronzy shade, and then this one is my like actual contour. These two are shimmery shades, so I never use them because I don't like shimmery contour. I feel like that's something everyone hates is the size of their forehead. Most people, yeah, I would say so. I agree with that. But like all foreheads are big, right? No, there are definitely some small foreheaded people in the world, but we love them. Just like we love our big foreheaded people. Now I'm using my next Christmas present. What's your next one? Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi, Am Amrezi, Amrezi, Am something. I think it's Amrezi. Or no, it is Amrezi, right. Yep, it's Amrezi. I don't know, but it's got a pretty packaging. She got the Amrezi highlighter. I got an 18 inch ring light, so I'm not gonna be shysty because I'm happy with what I got. What does that mean? This is like a vocab lesson for me. I would have been more happy with even more makeup and things, but I'm completely satisfied with the ring light and I would have picked the ring light over any makeup because the ring light is an investment. It's not going to run out and like I'll have to replace it or it's a trend. It's like lighting that I need for my channel to succeed and be happy. I need a brush to put highlight on my face with. I've got you. Here Caitlin, this is my Luxie 522 tapered highlight brush that I got in my Boxy charm. Thanks. You're welcome, Caitlin. I'm going all out with this highlight. Just kidding. It's not like sponsored or anything. I just want to pretend like it was sponsored because I wanted to feel special for just a minute. This brush is really nice. It's like soft and everything. Mm -hmm. I actually really do like that brush. You know one brush I do miss though? Mm -hmm. Is my Jaclyn Hill highlighter brush. I guess they don't have singles in those. Like, Not those specifically, but you can pretty much get that brush. It just sucks that like, I, I really didn't like that brush set, but there were a few specific brushes that I really do miss because I like established a routine with that set and I figured out what worked for me perfectly and now I don't have it. Like, look, I don't know if you can see at this angle. That's really, really pretty. Wow. But in Turn more. person that looks worse. <gasps> oh my God, no, down. Or like, oh yeah, there it is. Oh wow. That really makes it look like, like you look chiseled like that whenever you're, it actually hits the light. Mm -hmm. It makes it change your bone structure. It looks like it's changing your bone structure. That's cool. I love makeup. It's so fun. Like right now, I can make my brows look extra big and you would never know that they're not. We love extra big brows. Should I do bow and arrow or this color? This one's more of a pink and bow and arrow is more of a brown. Brown, because you got a lot of pink. I think you should be nude, Caitlin. <laughs> Your lips, you nasty. You got continuous mist setting spray too? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. Oh, that smells like, um, kind of like hairspray. To me, actually. Ish. 
Ish, yeah. I forgot that Caitlin here did give me the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. She said she had it and she never used it. And I kind of want all of the Anastasia Glow Kits. But he doesn't like the Amory Z highlighter because he says it's too glittery. So it is so glittery to me. But I don't fully understand. The pictures that I've seen have always been way too glittery. But that's not glittery. That's actually kind of nice. But all the pictures I've seen have been like super, super glittery. Is Santa Claus real? Of course he's real. He's coming in like 27 minutes. Mm. What time is it? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you all right? It's 1138. <laughs> I cannot wait to play that back. <laughs> And see what was really happening all in that moment. I've got to get all these boxes because this mess in front of us is really stressing me out. Same, sis. So I'll clean it up. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot that we were going to put your soap canvas in the giveaway box today. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you want to go buy another silk canvas, like... I can't even get myself a silk canvas right now. I don't wear this much makeup. Well, you're rocking it. I'm just saying. I feel like my my mild deep pores are completely overfilling. Like a landfill. I want to go to the James Charles palette. That's fine. Yep. I didn't win your giveaway, so I had to go buy my own. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I didn't even let my own stepdaughter have the James Charles palette. I delegated it only to the winner of my giveaway. Yeah. Sad times. Fair is fair, honey bunny. We all have to learn these cruel lessons in life. You know, we're, we're about to come into like the new holiday stuff. Or no, not holiday stuff. Are there typically anyway new releases in like January? I don't know, but I got a birthday coming up in January, so. Oh, congrats. Even more. Yeah. Man, It's lucky. not my fault I was born 11 days after Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait like a whole nother nine months till my birthday. But you know, I have Christmas and my birthday and then a whole year without anything. Oh, true, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. What's the next makeup item you want to get? If you could pick anything right now from Sephora or Ulta and just grab it and check out, what what would it be? Okay, not Sephora or Ulta, also online. Eyeshadow palette, a bundle of some kind. See, if it... If it was a bundle, but I would change the bundle. Cause like on Anastasia Beverly Hills, she had her thing where you um, you could buy a package of like the four eyeshadow palettes, but it had Modern Renaissance, Subculture, Prism, I think Soft Glam, and I have Modern Renaissance. And I want Soft Glam kind of, but also I have too many eyeshadow palettes anyway. Have you ever used Soft Glam? No, but if um, I could put like Soft Glam, Sultry, Norvina, and then all the ones you have over there, if I could put that in one pack, then I would be like, yeah, I'd buy that. Okay, so you would you would do ABH? Probably. I'm kind of on an Oz Anastasia Beverly Hills trip right now. Ooh. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I got lip gloss and no, highlighter from her today. You're not. I don't believe it. Nope, not at all. What would you buy? I would buy the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess bundle. The palette and the highlighter palette and the three lipsticks. Or I think it's three lipsticks. That's what I would buy. Because I really, really want to try that. And it's really pretty looking. And that packaging is like... Gorgeous. Have you seen the packaging for it? No. Oh my gosh. You should Google it. No. Oh yes. That's so gorgeous. Not the highlight palette, but the um, eyeshadow palette. I'm digging this blue and this shape. It's very, very blue. It is very blue. You know the one that's like, um, she says, did anyone ever tell you you look like Beyonce? And she says, nah, they tell me I look like Shalissa. And she says, who's Shalissa? And she goes, me, B. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I hadn't seen that, but that's funny. Why that just came to my mind. I'm glad it did. What's your favorite vine? Oh man. Uh, actually, I always liked that kid that did the Disney vines all the time, Thomas Sanders. He's so freaking funny. I like all the vines. I could sit here and quote to you for like six minutes straight to the vines. Like Hurricane Katrina, we're like Hurricane Tortilla. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen the vinyl? No. Oh. It's a kid in his pantry and a bag of tortilla chip, chips falls off the top and he goes, Hurricane Katrina. Oh, no. More I get like it. Hurricane Tortilla. There's the one that's like, Mother Trucker, that hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Quote that one on the daily. Look at all those chickens. Have you not seen that one? No. Why aren't you showing me these things? <laughs> Cause you're doing your makeup. So you can still show me these. Okay, things. well the that is like the most like one of the most iconic vines of this little girl goes 
Look at all those chickens. And they're not chickens. Literally, when you type in look, it's one of the first thing that pops up. <laughs> that was so cute, and she had a little lisp and everything. Look at all those chickens. I have wrinkles. Look at them. Wait, well, after you're done blending or packing, whatever you're doing. Both trying to get rid of that line I just made, but with the James Charles palette, which requires a little more finesse. Yeah, I kind of struggled when I did my little rainbow look because I'm not good at makeup, and it, yeah, it didn't work for me. Did you use an eyeshadow base or a concealer. concealer no have you not seen any of the what not to use things no like he specifically says don't use a concealer with his palette Why? because it's not formulated to work with it you yeah. have to use an eyeshadow base like the paint pot well i didn't do that but just so you know if you did experience any problems with it that was probably why oh well, that's nice to know now mm -hmm. but now you know for next time I need you to do something. <laughs> How did you know that that's exactly what I needed you to do? Oh my god, what time is it? 11.59! Oh! Oh my gosh! Merry Chrysler! Merry Christmas! <laughs> it's midnight now. I gotta tell Mark Merry Christmas. I'm gonna open the door and yell to him. Because I think he's here now. I'll yell at him too. You just like did acrobatics. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm so blue. I'm blue. Glitter time. How sweet. It is to be loved by you. I never know which brush I want to ruin whenever I go to put on glitter. It doesn't ruin the brush. What is that? What? Glitter glue. What brand? Bland. Too Faced. Oh, that's fun. Why do you have a grenade? Should I be concerned? No, it's for all my haters. No, it is a cologne. Cause you blow them all away? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a good joke. <laughs> I liked it. But it's a cologne. Bottle. Like a bottle of cologne. Like why didn't you spray it? I sprayed in your eyes. No, this is not for breeze. <laughs> Guys, one time, okay, this girl. I don't know what possessed her to do this, but we were just chilling on the couch. And we were goofing off, and she had a Febreze bottle, like Febreze, like the stuff you spray on a couch to make it smell good, like furniture, cloth. And she had it, and she was just goofing off, and she ended up pointing it at my face. And I think I opened my mouth to speak or something, because I really didn't think she was going to do it. And then all of a sudden, I get a shot of Febreze right in my mouth, like right all over my tongue. I was like 10, so I was younger. She was... Younger. She was old enough to know better to do that though. But she just did it. And I mean, I guess she kind of didn't really know me a whole lot then. So she didn't really know my limits, I guess, or like what was not okay. But she knew that wasn't okay. But then I was just her dad's friend. And that was weird. That was a weird time. Hey, I'm Mark's friend. It wasn't weird for me. I know. It was kind of weird for me sometimes though. He was dad's friend. Oh my god! Oh my god! I glued my eyelashes together. This does not taste good. Nor does Fabrice. You asked for it. I did not. Okay, I don't remember what the circumstances were exactly. You felt like spraying my face with No, Febreze. I did not just feel like spraying yes, your you face. Did. No, there was surrounding circumstances. No, there was not. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Every time I put it down, it just comes back up. Okay, well I'm done with that eye, obviously. So when do you graduate? May. Then I'm a real human being and I'm on my own. I know. That's so scary. Yeah, it is. If anyone wants to donate to my college fund. <laughs> Where are you going? For sure? Or have you I'm decided that? I'm not for sure. I want to go to the University of Alabama though. That's pretty much where I've got everything lined up to go. But if Hendrix wants to give me money, then... Will you pick Hendrix over Alabama? Uh, I don't want to go to Hendrix. Really? I don't know. It's just a lot smaller. Is that favorable or not? 
not favorable. Some people it's favorable, but then it's not though. I'm not much of a small town, small, let's, yeah, I like people. I like being in places where there's lots of people. You know, this is a pro tip. When all else fails, just fill it up with hollow glitter. Yeah, that works. Especially if you make a clean line with the hollow glitter, because then it looks like you meant to do it. You want to pick out my uh, mascara for me? Oh my gosh. What? When I sit up and go all oh, the way wow. up. <laughs> You're like the Shrek to my donkey. What in the world? I'm huge. You're just bigger than me. No, I'm a huge human being. Love being 5'10". Love being 5'9". I'm only 5'9". But I have a, tall, a longer torso than you do. You do. Are you having fun? Mm-hmm. I'm staring at you. Where's that glow kit? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Thanks. You're welcome. Fan brush. Oh, and just so you know, I'm using the highlighter palette that she gave me. The Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. And I'm using the shade Orion because it's blue, like my eyes. And I want it to be all blue. Like, I want to have this frosty ice queen look. And I think it's working. If I had a white lipstick, I would use that. But I don't. I think I'm gonna go dark on the lipstick though. For every mistake that I make. Every mistake you make. <laughs> every, every move you move. make. Close. Be Baby, can't you, you see? You belong to me. Never free away. Never change you take. Oh my god. It's very blue. <laughs> you have a blue streak down your nose. I do. <laughs> like I thought it was going to be a little more diffused. I want to use this lipstick. This is the Macalia lipstick. What color is that? I don't know. I think it's black. With like micro dust. In it. <clears throat> We're going to find it's out. Cool. It's so dark. Oh my gosh. I should have used some kind of lip liner. Maybe it, I'm confused as to what color that is. I think it's black. That is so dark. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We had so much fun with you. Sorry if you got really bored. I am gonna start doing shout outs in my videos. The way I think I'm gonna do it is at some random points throughout my videos, I'm going to say something along the lines of the random word today is Elsa. And you have to comment down below the random word of the day. And if you do comment that random word, I will give you a shout out in the next video. I'm not gonna shout out every person that says it in the next video, but I'm gonna pick one of those subscribers, and you have to be subscribed to my channel, but I'm gonna pick one of those subscribers that leaves the word down at the bottom in the comment section in the next video. So that's how my shout outs are gonna work. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. My username is the same for everything. It's just at Christopher J M U A. If you didn't know it before, I hope you know it now. Always remember and never forget that you're beautiful. Okay, you see the little circle that's in the middle of the screen right now? You can tap that and subscribe to my channel. There's also two boxes on either side of that, and either one of those will let you see the previous video I uploaded, or the video that's suggested for you to watch based on the content that you've previously watched. See you in the next video. Bye.